John Wick Chapter 2 isn't even in theatres yet, but the director and screenwriter already have plans to hit TV. I'm Alicia Malone and this is Screen Junkies News. John Wick, the boogeyman, is back. He's just a hit man that wanted out and then you killed his dog. Not cool. Well, not you personally, but hot on the heels of John Wick Chapter 2, the director Chad Stileski told Slash Film that he and writer Derek Colsad created so much material in developing the sequel that a TV series is possible and it seems Lionsgate is biting. With me to talk about this is Roth Cornette. Hey. Hello. It's so good to have you back and see your lovely face. <laughs> It's good to be back. I feel a bit rusty after being at Sundance, but it's fun. It's no, really you're the fun. world's proest pro. And I love talking about John Wick as yes. well. I haven't had a chance to see the second movie, but a TV series, does that excite you? Absolutely. I have seen the second oh, movie. Is it good? Um, yes, it is. It's Yay. all the murder you need it to be. Um, it's really fun. It's a lot of fun. I think if you're a fan of the first film, that you will enjoy it. Um, separate topic. Mm -hmm. But I love that first film and it felt so fresh and like it was really invigorating the action franchise. It's a wish fulfillment movie. Yeah. John Wick can, um, like other wish fulfillment characters, do all the things that we wish we could do, like be 10 steps to people and kill people with pencils. Just with the head, headshots <laughs> alone. Woo. And it had the great revenge um, and vengeance hook as well with the puppy because uh, for me, like that was my answer to all of the cast was how many people would have to die if they hurt your animal? And I feel like 86 is a good number. How do you feel, Alicia? <laughs> yeah, if I had an animal, it would be a lot. I know, definitely that was a good revenge tale. And it also brought in this great mythology mm -hmm. as well, which I'm not sure if the second film does, but I'm hoping that's what the TV series could possibly explore. You know, it's interesting because what they talked about was that wanting to do a prequel story about sort of John Wick in the mythology had to do this impossible task to get out of the business and get married um, and retire in the first place. So it's exploring what that impossible task was. I will say this, though, as a weird coincidence, you know how Facebook does Facebook memories? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the other day they pulled up an image of at my previous job doing an interview with Lance Reddick, yep. who is awesome, who was in Fringe, if you like Fringe, and plays the concierge in the hotel. Mm -hmm. And at the time I asked him, I about doing a TV series that just focused on the Continental, the hotel. Interesting. And to me, that is the approach because you can't really have anybody but Keanu play John Wick. And I don't think he's gonna do a TV show. I don't think. He loves this character a lot, but it just doesn't seem likely to me. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the thing to do is focus on the world of these assassins and the rules and the mythology in this hotel. How cool would that be? And they have them all over the world. I know, it is so cool. That, that was the part of the first John Wick that was the most intriguing to me. But they also say that this could possibly be a prequel. So would you want to see a younger John Wick, not Keanu, but a younger actor play the, the previous John Wick iteration, whatever that is? I think it could be interesting. I think that story. So there's two, there's two ways to do the prequel, right? Doing how he got out of the business where he's already sort of John Wick. Yep. And then doing how he became John yeah. Wick, right? Like how he became this hardened assassin. I'd probably prefer some HBO series about the hotel, personally. Like a spin-off. Mm -hmm. mm. But I think that could be interesting, an interesting origin story, but it'd have to be a pretty dramatic arc and very well done, and you would want these creators involved. How about you? Yeah, I think I don't want to see a John Wick without Keanu, mm -hmm. but there is so much to this story that could be explored, and, and television now is a way to, to do that in depth, and you could imagine even a limited series, uh, yes. something like The Night Manager or something similar to that. That's a limited series about the hotel tell and there's so many other characters you could play with i think that would be really clever and i think it is sort of invigorating the the action sort of genre i don't know why i said sort of it's the genre yeah. um <laughs> but it would be cool maybe just to take the john wick name and then it's not necessarily attached fully to that character in a way fargo i mean it's slightly exactly, different yeah. but fargo does these 10 limited series and then it kind of reboots it's still in the same world and there's connective tissue mm -hmm. um but it's a totally different story the season one and season two were different time periods season two was the prequel right yeah and they're 
Amazing. This is one of my favorite shows, if not my favorite show on television. So Fargo, having done it so well, I just feel like anything is possible if you have the right creative brains. Yeah, I agree. I think I remember back in the the day when people were starting to talk about this sort of second screen experience mm -hmm. idea and like, how do you take a movie and then translate it to TV or to video games? And a lot of the thinking was it had to be in the same timeline. Yeah. You know, it had to be the TV show working well with the movies that were happening at that time. But I think now the, the door is open to any possibilities you can do with television. Yeah. Is there a movie that you would like to see? Shocking. We, mm. Fight Club is one of your favorites. So oh, I'm going to put yeah. you on the spot. Do you want to see a Fight Club TV that show? That could be cool. <laughs> see all the Fight Clubs. Although, I mean, it's so much about Tyler and the yeah. narrator. But, uh, but yeah, any of those kind of movies that have a bigger world, I think you hit the nail on the head where you don't necessarily want to see the movie done as an episodic TV no, show, yeah. but you want to see some part of the movie that you haven't been able to explore within that world and put into the TV show version. Fight Club could be interesting because I think, you know, there's many fight clubs all over mm -hmm. the world. And what kind of people are attracted to it. Yeah, yeah. And what kind of transformation. And I think it, that movie in particular obviously spoke a lot about masculinity mm -hmm. and, you know, what it means to be a man if you've never fought and you're like Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie so much. So that could be a good one. What about you? Any other I don't know. I mean, you would love it. I keep I, I continue to be surprised by because yeah, I remember hearing about Fargo and going no so did I but I love that series. yeah yeah I I, the I two felt seasons. the yeah. two seasons are great I felt the same exact way I thought there's no way you can do this it's gonna be a nightmare but there's several good um, movie to TV show adaptations there's really famous ones Far Fargo is right now but Buffy the Vampire Slayer because Joss was able to do it That's the way right. he wanted to do yeah. it on the show versus um, the film which I still think is fun but I love the show Chrissy Swanson she's so good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, of course, MASH, very famously, yeah. right? So it's about having um, the scope of it and not just trying to ape something like Clueless, the TV series. I don't know, maybe you loved it, but was just yeah, sort of trying it. to re-ape the movie over and yeah. over again, right? Yeah, I agree. Well, there's so much you can do these days with television. Really, the door's wide open. Ross Cornett, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. And we want to know whether you would like to see a John Wick TV series if it didn't feature Keanu Reeves. Who else could play this iconic character? Would you like to see a younger version, maybe? Let us know in the comments below. You can also tweet us at SJ News. Click over there to see more stuff from SJ News, and we will see you soon.